Hello and welcome to our daily prayer service today on July 10th, 2024. Today is Wednesday after the seventh Sunday after Pentecost. Beloved, let us love one another because love is from God. Everyone who loves is born of God and knows God. In this time and place, we meet in the presence of the living God, the risen Christ who accompanies us and all people. In this time and place, God's Holy Spirit breathes in and through us, the Holy Spirit who transforms us and all life. In this time and place, together, one people of God, in the name of God, source of all being, eternal word, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Hear these words of Scripture. As God who called you is holy, be holy yourselves in all your conduct. Spirit of God, search our hearts. Let us confess our sins to God. God of all mercy, we confess that we have sinned against you, opposing your will in our lives. We have denied your goodness in each other, in ourselves, and in the world you have created. We repent of the evil that enslaves us, the evil we have done, and the evil done on our behalf. Forgive, restore, and strengthen us through our Savior Jesus Christ, that we may abide in your love and serve only your will. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through the grace of Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. O God, let our mouth proclaim your praise and your glory all the day long. Praise to the holy and undivided Trinity, one God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Be still and know that I am God. Come to me, all that labor and are heavy laden, and I will refresh you. Our appointed psalm for today is Psalm 119. We will read the first section of this psalm as it is quite long. And we will read this responsively by half verse. Happy are they whose way is blameless, who walk in the law of the Lord. Happy are they who observe his decrees and seek him with all their hearts, who never do any wrong, but always walk in his ways. You laid down your commandments that we should fully keep them. Oh, that my ways were made so direct that I might keep your statutes. Then I should not be put to shame when I regard all your commandments. I will thank you with an unfeigned heart when I have learned your righteous judgments. I will keep your statutes. Do not utterly forsake me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our Old Testament lesson for today is written in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 1, verses 1 through 18. These are the words that Moses spoke to all Israel beyond the Jordan, in the wilderness, on the plain opposite Suf, between Paran and Tophel, Laban, Hazaroth, and Dizahab. By the way of Mount Seir, it takes eleven days to reach Kadesh Barnea from Horeb. In the fortieth year, on the first day of the eleventh month, Moses spoke to the Israelites just as the Lord had commanded him to speak to them. This was after he had defeated King Sihon of the Amorites, who reigned in Heshbon and King Og of Bashan, who reigned in Ashtaroth and in Adre. Beyond the Jordan in the land of Moab, 
Moses undertook to expound this law as follows. The Lord our God spoke to us at Horeb, saying, You have stayed long enough at this mountain. Resume your journey and go into the hill country of the Amorites, as well as into the neighboring regions, the Arabah, the hill country, the Cephala, the Negeb, and the sea coast, and the land of the Canaanites and the Lebanon, as far as the great river, the river Euphrates. See, I have set the land before you. Go in and take possession of the land that I swore to your ancestors, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, to give to them and to their descendants after them. At that time I said to you, I am unable by myself to bear you. The Lord your God has multiplied you, so that today you are as numerous as the stars of heaven. May the Lord, the God of your ancestors, increase you a thousand times more and bless you, as he has promised you. But how can I bear the heavy burden of your disputes all by myself? Choose for each of your tribes individuals who are wise, discerning and reputable to be your leaders. You answered me, The plan you have proposed is a good one. So I took the leaders of your tribes, wise and reputable individuals, and installed them as leaders over you, commanders of thousands, commanders of hundreds, commanders of fifties, commanders of tens, and officials throughout your tribes. I charged your judges at that time, give the members of your community a fair hearing, and judge rightly between one person and another, whether citizen or resident alien. You must not be partial in judging. Hear out the small and the great alike. You shall not be intimidated by anyone, for the judgment is God's. Any case that is too hard for you, bring to me, and I will hear it. So I charged you at that time with all the things you should do. Next we will read the first section of Canticle 12, A Song of Creation. We will read this in unison. Glorify the Lord, all you works of the Lord. Praise Him and highly exalt Him forever. In the firmament of His power, glorify the Lord. Praise Him and highly exalt Him forever. Glorify the Lord, you angels and all powers of the Lord, O heavens and all waters above the heavens. Sun and moon and stars of the sky, glorify the Lord. Praise Him and highly exalt Him forever. Glorify the Lord, every shower of rain and fall of dew, all winds and fire and heat, winter and summer, glorify the Lord. Praise Him and highly exalt Him forever. Glorify the Lord, O chill and cold, drops of dew and flakes of snow, frost and cold, ice and sleet, glorify the Lord. Praise Him and highly exalt Him forever. Glorify the Lord, O nights and days, O shining light and enfolding dark, storm clouds and thunderbolts, glorify the Lord. Praise Him and highly exalt Him forever. The epistle written for today is written in the book of Romans, chapter 9, verses 1 through 18. I am speaking the truth in Christ. I am not lying. My conscience confirms it by the Holy Spirit. I have great sorrow and unceasing anguish in my heart. For I could wish that I myself were accursed and cut off from Christ for the sake of my own people, my kindred according to the flesh. They are Israelites. And to them belong the adoption, the glory, the covenants, the giving of the law, the worship, and the promises. To them belong the patriarchs, and from them, according to the flesh, comes the Messiah, who is over all, God blessed forever. Amen. It is not as though the word of God had failed, for not all Israelites truly belong to Israel, and not all of Abraham's children are his true descendants. But it is through Isaac that descendants shall be named for you. This means that it is not the children of the flesh who are the children of God, but the children of the promise are counted as descendants. For this is what the promise said, About this time I will return, 
and Sarah shall have a son. Nor is that all. Something similar happened to Rebekah when she had conceived children by one husband, our ancestor Isaac. Even before they had been born or had done anything good or bad, so that God's purpose of election might continue, not by works or by his call, she was told, the elder shall serve the younger. As it is written, I have loved Jacob, but I have hated Esau. Then what are we to say? Is there injustice on God's part? By no means. For he says to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I have compassion. So it depends not on human will or exertion, but on God who shows mercy. For the scripture says to Pharaoh, I have raised you up for the very purpose of showing my power in you, so that my name may be proclaimed in all the earth. So then he has mercy on whomever he chooses, and he hardens the heart of whomever he chooses. Next we will read Canticle 15, A Song of Mary. We will read this in unison. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our gospel lesson written for today is written in the book of Matthew, chapter 23, verses 27 through 39. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For you are like whitewashed tombs, which on the outside look beautiful, but inside they are full of the bones of the dead and of all kinds of filth. So you also on the outside look righteous to others, but inside you are full of hypocrisy and lawlessness. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For you build the tombs of the prophets and decorate the graves of the righteous. And you say, If we had lived in the days of our ancestors, we would not have taken part with them in shedding the blood of the prophets. Thus you testify against yourselves that you are descendants of those who murdered the prophets. Fill up, then, the measure of your ancestors, you snakes, you brood of vipers. How can you escape being sentenced to hell? Therefore I send you prophets, sages, and scribes, some of whom you will kill and crucify, and some you will flog in your synagogues and pursue from town to town, so that upon you may come all the righteous blood shed on earth, from the blood of righteous Abel to the blood of Zechariah, son of Berechiah, whom you murdered between the sanctuary and the altar. Truly I tell you, all this will come upon this generation. Jerusalem, Jerusalem, the city that kills the prophets and stones those who are sent to it. How often have I desired to gather your children together as a hen gathers her brood under her wings, and you were not willing. See, your house is left to you, desolate. For I tell you, you will not see me again until you say, Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Next we will confess our faith with the reading of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, 
was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Next we'll read Suffrage A, and we will read this responsively. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. Here is our collect of the day. O God, you have taught us to keep all your commandments by loving you and our neighbor. Grant us the grace of your Holy Spirit, that we may be devoted to you with our whole heart, and united to one another with pure affection. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Today, instead of the prayers of the people, we will be reading a litany titled Litany of Let Love, written by the Sisters of Life. Father, good and ever faithful, Jesus, Savior, ever merciful, Holy Spirit, wellspring of true life and love, I give you permission. Reign in my heart, mind, soul, and life. Let your love come into my past, present, and future. Let your love unfold in me. That I let love reveal who I am, God, in whose image I've been made, father me. That I let love define me, God, in whose likeness I've been formed, shape me. That I let love with courage and hope, God, to whose glory I've been called, be my strength. That I let love forgive me, save me, Lord Jesus. That I let love love me to the depths of my being, save me, Lord Jesus. That I let love heal and glorify my wounds, save me, Lord Jesus. That I let love free me from my sin, save me, Lord Jesus. That I let love liberate me from all my fears, save me, Lord Jesus. That I let love reconcile me to wholeness and peace, save me, Lord Jesus. That I let love awaken me, come, Holy Spirit. That I let love lead me in every moment, come, Holy Spirit. That I let love challenge me to live in and for love. Come, Holy Spirit. That I let love grow my mind, heart, and soul. Come, Holy Spirit. That I let love draw me to live in the truth. Come, Holy Spirit. That I let love transform me into the life of Christ. Come, Holy Spirit. That I let love fill me to overflowing. Come, Holy Spirit. That I let love captivate my heart. 
Come, Holy Spirit, that I let love live in me. Come, Holy Spirit, that I let love inspire me. Come, Holy Spirit, that I let love cherish me. Father, hold me in your heart, that I let love receive me. Jesus, keep me in your wounds, that I let love be my rock in security. Spirit, keep me in your peace, that I let love ask from me. Let your will be done, Father, that I let love in. Let your will be done, Father, that I let love live in me. Let your will be done, Father, that I let love go. Let your will be done, Father, that I let love give. Let your will be done, Father, that I let love speak. Let your will be done, Father, that I let love call my name. Let your will be done, Father, that I let love bring me somewhere new. Blessed Trinity, reign over my life. That I let love be the adventure. Blessed Trinity, reign over my life. That I let love write the score. Blessed Trinity, reign over my life. That I let love win the victory. Blessed Trinity, reign over my life. That I let love be the answer. Blessed Trinity, reign over my life. Amen. Teach us, good Lord, to serve you as you deserve, to give and not to count the cost, to fight and to not heed the wounds, to toil and to not seek for rest, to labor and to not ask for reward, except that of knowing that we are doing your will. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled, and do not let them be afraid. <laughs>